Yo guys, what is up? It's Teach here, coming at you again with another video, and this is a quick video to help you out. Let's say you're downloading a game on Steam, I don't know, like Ark, where you've got massive files here. How do you make this stuff go faster? So here's the honest answer, and it's actually really shockingly easy. Essentially what you're going to be doing, you can see how long this is taking. I have a speed of gig, uh, literally I have a gig. So my speed of download can't get any faster, so why is it taking so long? Now essentially what's happening is your game not only has to download like you see me doing right here, so I've got 27.6 gigs that need to be downloaded, so it is downloading all of those files, but it also has to patch every last file that you already have on your system. So there are a couple of workarounds to actually download your games faster. Let's say you're trying to get as quick as you possibly can. Essentially what you're going to do is you are going to open up your games library. So I usually do it about this way. So I'm going to go to games. I click on here. This is the one I'm trying to download. If you look down to DLC, you can manage my nine DLC. And then if you unselect the files, okay, you are going to reduce the number of patching that you have to do. So if I get rid of the Genesis season pass, the ARC Season Pass. Now you can always re-download these in the future. You can reduce the amount of patching that you have to do, therefore increasing the speed in which you are going to have to... Uh, and I'll just show you real quick. So we want the Lost Island map. We don't really care about the others for right now. I'm going to get rid of Ragnarok. I'm going to get rid of the Center. I'm going to get rid of Alguero, uh, Extinction, uh, Aberration, and then let's even just say Genesis Season Pass, and then Scorched Earth, okay? So, I've just unselected all of those, right? Now, if I go back over to my actual library, essentially what's going to happen is it's not going to have to validate all those additional files, so it's going to increase the speed in which it's doing this. Now, you can't, because it is actually doing this at a much faster rate, you can see it right now, um, it'll be able to work much better. So, essentially, you're not going to have to validate all those additional files. Now, you can go ahead and back out by literally just clicking, like, you know, away from all of this stuff. Notice how it was at, what, like 20 gigs, and now it's at 166 gigs? Yeah, that's a big difference. So you can also go ahead and close out of Steam, and then open it back up if you want to just check to make sure that go everything's going fine, and then resume. And you'll see that starting download and everything's going fine again. So we're at 53 gigs, and it's catching up. So that is a quick way to actually speed up the process in which you actually don't have to worry about certain things to actually avoid validating certain files that you already have access to. So anyways, hopefully that helps you out. And other than that, teach.